Hello, hi. Uh, this is a Panasonic uh, inverter microwave. So I got this from the roadside, and when I got it, I thought maybe it's a chance for the these micro switches usually fail. What I did to test these micro switches before I turn on the power and replace with the new fuses for sure and then I used the resist the ohm meter to test the, the power plug so uh, I test the ohm with door open and with door closed nothing goes to zero so I know these switches are okay so I replaced the fuse 20 amps fuse so when I power it on the panel display seems to be normal whenever I hit the start to heat something it burn the fuse right away no not even a second so something is short because it's inverter microwave it's interesting to fix not worth it so I can find it pretty cheap like $40 on Kijiji but you know maybe give it a try for fun if I can fix it okay so that's how I isolate the problem so first I disconnect magnetron from here and I turn on the power heat something fuse blow again so it's not the magnetron so something wrong with the, this inverter module so when I disconnect the power all the wires to the module it uh, the fuse stays not blown anymore so something wrong with this uh, module so I will show you how I did test later okay first of all I have to say I don't know much about electronic repair know a little bit but not much uh, so this is basically the microwave inverter module board control module board so uh, I got this board and remove these two parts Let's see here yeah it's got it from here okay okay the one on the left is rectifier it's a bridge convert uh, AC to DC uh, the middle two pin is AC input the outside two pin is DC output <coughs> so you measure two pin okay and this is normal reading and this is normal okay so basically when I test it on board the AC input looks okay but the DC output is shorted so I thought this part need to be replaced but when I took out these uh, two parts I 
measure this uh, rectifier again and it looks normal so the actual uh, broken part is the one on the right which is IGBT uh, there are lots of videos on YouTube to show you how to test IGBT um, by switching you know these pins back and forth I watch those videos and when I actually test it it doesn't exactly like what it says so this is the one that is replaced the brand new brand new parts I bought this part from Mouser okay here is the package the Mouser uh, DG key has similar part but it's higher amperage it's about 40 amps and this is 30 amps so Mouser has exactly matched the same part and uh, this time I didn't try to buy from Aliexpress or eBay from China because I checked the data sheets they are actually rated for more than 1000 volt so for this reason I decide to buy from Mouser Okay, this is the one it's removed and then I already put the, the heat paste this is the new one these are screw need to put it on black screw supposed to hold the heat sink sorry it's out of the camera I measure those two diode with meter but I didn't get any good reading like uh, OL reading so okay you can see on the left that there are three pins on the right there are four pins Uh, the three pin is IGBT it's actually what we replaced this time
you're going to laugh at me this is for plumbing solder well it didn't stick there Okay, I plug the power there, turn on the switch, display is on as before. Let me see, I put the clock, see back up a little bit. Two o'clock. Oh no. I don't know. Oh, something isn't right. Okay, I don't know how to set the time. Let's put it later. Uh, about the fuse, I bought a box of fuse from China. And they're supposed to be 20 amps. But previously when I replaced this fuse these fuse to the another uh, microwave I found out even the amperage is 17 amps what I measured the fuse won't last very long run for a short time and then it blows so I know these fuse are not good but probably for a short time it's okay we'll see Okay, this is my first time after replace those parts. Let's see. Oops. I don't need this. Okay. Okay, put a glass of cold water. I should get the safety glasses. One second. Okay, I'm putting my safety glasses on. Let's put one minute. Okay, first time. I didn't blow the fuse. I didn't blow the fuse. Time still counting. Still counting. Maybe the fuse will blow later. For now, still running. If it does heat, I will replace a better fuse. 
uh, put the fuse together, two fuse parallel together. Seems to be super quiet. I can smell something hot. Wow, okay. Let's see. It is warm. It is warm. Well, in the cold weather, you can see the steam coming. Okay, seems like it fixed. I should put a better fuse because this fuse will not last very long. Okay. Thank you. If you have any question, please leave me a message.